My name is Tyler Wolf, a survey statistician from the U.S. Census Bureau. What if you could get an early look at how the U.S. economy is moving before it becomes front page news? Imagine seeing changes in industries like healthcare, real estate, and manufacturing as they unfold. That's exactly what the U.S. Census Bureau's economic indicators make possible. Let's check it out. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Quarterly Services Survey a key source of timely, reliable data that captures the pulse of the U.S. service sector. Agencies like the Bureau of Economic Analysis use it to help produce key measures like the Gross Domestic Product, or GDP. That means your exploration of this data connects directly to how the U.S. economy is officially measured. Whether you're a researcher, policymaker, business leader, or simply someone trying to make sense of an industry, this data provides a critical insight into how the economy is doing right now. Let's dive in and see how to turn this data into insights by exploring trends and creating charts. Since we are interested in services data, we will go to www.census.gov forward slash services. Here you will find the latest quarterly services report, access to our free API, the FRED app, to receive the latest updates on the nation's key economic indicators, and interactive tools like the time series trend charts. Let's click on that. On step one, there are various economic indicators available in this menu, but we'll choose quarterly services survey. Step two, you can specify a year range since 2003. We will select 2019 and end on 2025. Step three, in the industry category line, there's a wide variety of service industries to choose from, like automotive repair and maintenance, performing arts companies, or child daycare services. Let's select this last one, 6244 child daycare services. On step four, revenue is the main item in this survey. But depending on the industry, the survey also produces estimates of total operating expenses, as well as number of inpatient days and discharges for hospitals. Let's select total revenue for child daycare services and then click get data. Tables for seasonally adjusted data and non-seasonally adjusted data will show up at the bottom of the page. To better visualize the totals, you can instantly get a bar chart or line chart by clicking those respective names at the top of the tables. Let's switch to the total expenses item. Select it from step number four and click get data. To visualize it, let's now try the bar chart. Any of the charts generated can be exported in different formats by clicking the square with three lines in the top right hand side of the chart. To practice, let's try another example. Try changing the industry to 5312, Offices of Real Estate Agents and Brokers. What other items did you get? Total Revenue Percent Change. Select that and click Get Data. When we choose a percent change item, we have the option to do a dot plot graph for both resulting tables instead of the bar chart or line chart. Can you see in the graphs the seasonal adjustment effects on the data? Seasonal adjustment estimates remove seasonal effects from a time series to show changes in the direction of the industry that aren't due to seasonality. In fact, you can also see the seasonal effects from our example by selecting total revenue instead of the total revenue percent change and clicking on the line chart text link. It's that simple. Our data are released every quarter with the Advanced Quarterly Services Report providing an early measure of U.S. service economy performance. You can check when the next quarterly services data release is happening by clicking on the left-hand menu, Services link, and then Release Schedule, or by subscribing to our email updates in the Contact Us section. We hope you find this tool easy to use. For more videos like this, visit us at census.gov forward slash academy, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.